Hi everybody, Mike here at MH Tutorials. Um, so the topic of today is how to model a simple street scene. Okay, so that's what we're going to get started with. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a polygon plane and drag that out to roughly the size of the grid. Hit five for shaded mode. Okay. And we're going to go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop Tool. We're going to put um, one there and one there. Then we are going to go three off the center line and four off the center line and do the same here and here like so. And we'll do one there, one there, and one there, and one there. All right. Okay. Next, we're going to hit Q on our keyboard. We're going to uh, right click, go to face. We're going to select these, these. Um, actually, before we do that, hang on. Right click edge. We're just going to clean this up. Get that out, get that out, get that out. So that's a, a block for our street. And we'll take these out. Actually, we'll take these out as well. Okay. And these two. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to add some additional um, edge loops. So edit mesh, insert edge loop. And we're going to do that here in the street. Um, let's see. Is there another way I can do that? No, never mind. Okay, we're going to approach it like this. Right click, face. We're going to select these faces. Seems that I still got that going on. We'll get there. Yep, there we go. Okay, so got those. Edit mesh, extrude, hit W and move that up just a little, like so. Then right click edge, double click on those edges there. Looks like that's all selected. Take those, take those, edit mesh and bevel. There we go. We're going to increase the segments to about four and leave the offset at 0 0.5. That's fine. Okay, that's our basic layout. Now let's start with our house. We're going to drag a polygon cube. Let's pull that up, something like so. We're going to go to object mode. Let's move that in until we are roughly at our position. Hit F to zoom in. And let's see what we got with our curves here. Okay, now I just want to raise the curves a little bit. So right click face. Now we're just going to take these. Edit mesh extrude. And let's raise this just a little bit, not too much. Just so you can see the curve line. That's fine. Okay. Now we're going to take our house here, object mode just to get a sense of um, how big they should be and so forth. Scale that up a little bit. Scale it out. Looks like we're going to do about two houses per per area here. Okay. Okay, something like that. All right. <clears throat> we're going to select the front. Face, edit mesh, extrude. Hit R. Scale that in, and let's do one window down here and push that over, maybe a bit smaller, something like that. 
All right. Right click edge, get rid of these edges. Okay. Right click face, select that face, edit mesh, extrude, hit W, and just pull that out just a little, and then edit mesh, extrude again, R, scale that in, G to repeat, W to push in. Okay, so that's our basic window there. Then edit mesh, insert edge loop tool. Let's make our front door. Let's do something like that and height wise, something like so. Hit Q on your keyboard, right click face. We got that selected. Edit mesh, extrude. Hit W, pull that out. Not too much. Edit mesh, extrude, hit R, scale that in. Okay. G to repeat, W to push back in. Something like so. Okay. We're going to go to edit mesh, insert edge loop tool. Let's put one edge there. Hit Q on our keyboard. Right click face. Double click until we have that entire edge. Edit mesh, extrude. Hit R, scale it out just slightly. And then, uh, we think, then we're gonna bevel that, okay. So, right click edge. Double click on that one and on that one. Edit mesh, bevel, okay. Now, for the window upstairs, we're going to get rid of these two here. Edit mesh, insert edge loop. Let's do a line here, a line there. Actually, we'll do one upstairs, that's fine. Looks like my edge loops are not showing up for some reason, but that's fine. We'll approach it slightly different. We're going to right click face, hit Q on our keyboard. We'll take that, edit mesh, extrude, hit R, scale that in, move that over, right click edge, take that guy. Oh, I've got too much selected apparently. Just that one. Check it from the front here. That still looks fine. Okay. Okay, so we got that. Right click face. Edit mesh. Extrude. Hit W. Pull that out. G to repeat. R to scale in. Not too much like that. G to repeat and W to push in. Okay, which gives us something like that. Let's clean this up. Right click edge, get rid of those edges. Okay, fine. Let's lower the, uh, the top part here. So we're gonna uh, right click vertex, drag select the top, and bring that down to something like that. Right click face. I just want that face there. Looks about right. Edit mesh, extrude, hit R. Scale it out just a little bit, like so. Let's clean up that edge down here. All right. And now for the roof, what we'll do is 
will go to our top view, hit F. I'm going to go down here, edit mesh, insert edge loop. Let's do one about there. Hit Q on your keyboard, right click edge. And I just want this here. And that one here, and that one here. Hit W, which will give you something like this object mode. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> so we've got this guy. We're going to switch to this view here. Control D to duplicate. And maybe we can fit in three. We're just going to scale this guy down a little bit. Pull it down. Move that over. Control D to duplicate. And Shift D to duplicate once more. Let's just check that whether they are sitting okay. We're going to bring them out, something like that. And let's bring them forward a little bit. Okay. Mesh combine. Control D to duplicate. Move that over. That looks about right. A little bit more. Okay. Going to select these both. Mesh Combine, Modify Center Pivot, Control D to Duplicate, Move Over, Hit E, Rotate that around to 180. Let's bring them in. Hit W, something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. And then let's take the whole thing, mesh combine, control D, move that over, hit E to rotate that. And what we'll do is we'll make sure that we're at minus 90. And let's bring that in from our top view. So pull that down. And now we're going to move that over here. Actually, let's do this. Control D. And move that over here. Which will give us uh, Let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, no, not happy with that. Or am I? Yeah, let's see. Let's do something like this. Okay. We're going to go to our vendor settings. We're going to go to mental ray, indirect lighting. Physical Sun on Sky, Global Illumination, Quality Settings to about 1.5, and our Common tab, let's increase the size to HD 1080. Okay, just going to check my Sun here, and we're going to angle that. So I'm going to hit 7 on my keyboard so I can see what the Sun's doing, and I'm going to rotate that. Something like, let's see what looks best. Okay, we're going to rotate that a bit more. Just want a little bit more light going on.
Now let's give this a go. Well, that's not bad. Uh, one more thing we can do to tweak this. So I'm just going to hit escape on this one. Um, I don't like the fact that we're looking at the back end of these houses here. So first we're going to hit W and move that in. So these are connected and then select both and bring that in. And then we're going to um, go to mesh and separate. We're going to select these six. Mesh combine, modify center pivot. We're going to flip those around to minus 180. And then we'll give this another go, which will probably look somewhat different. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, just check my uh, render window. Something like that. Okay, here we go. Well, there we go, guys. This is the, um, a simple street scene. Um, obviously, you can you know go nuts with this and make it as detailed as you want, but uh, this is more intended for like um, you know a high overview. You don't want to be extremely close up on this because it's all you know fairly the same. But uh, hopefully, um, it helps you out anyway. So uh, let me know if you got any questions, and thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.